How's about we go and make some hanging baskets and plant strawberries? It's Tuesday and uh, it's not very nice it there's some fine spots of rain in the air but uh, I'm gonna give it a go out here I've got some more strawberries and uh, which I've just been brought this morning so I've also got this big roll of coir matting um, this is coconut coir so I'm going to cut out two by two square fit it into the uh, large hanging baskets, cut it to shape and I fill them up. I'm planting four strawberries per large hanging basket so let me uh, move the camera around and we'll give it a start. I'll have the matting cut and I've cut it into the same like the star shape. That will now fit inside the basket. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Prepare the basket. Right. Right. So, I do now is get the bucket, get the matting and the basket using the centre. Not one of the easiest uh, jobs on the list, but we get there in the end. I then use the tray, put in the bottom. This helps to conserve water. Then I get some soil and put some soil in the bottom, keep it all together. This soil is my own compost. I've been rotting down for a, a good 12 months. And in amongst that there's some bit of uh, chopped straw mixed in. So I then have to pound these off. Now what I do with the bits? The bits I put inside. Helps to thicken the sides. Cut just above the bar so it uh, can get some shrinkage. It doesn't go too bad. As I cut this down, coil matting is not the easiest of things to cut. Scissors don't like it; they get jammed up like here. So I then put that in as such and that helps to seal these joints. So what I do, I'll get on and do that and I'll come back to you in a moment but I'll put you on hyper so you can see. I saw three varieties I bought today and they are Alice Pegasus and of course the old favourite Cambridge favourite a well trued and tried tested favourite so three types today one variety into each 
hanging basket. So what I do now, I'll get them potted up. I'll show you this basket and then I'm gonna go off, get the other two baskets done, come back once I've got all three baskets done. So let me show you how I do these. So I've got the soil in at the moment. And so what I do now is take one of these. Now I'm gonna do the Pegasus, I think, first. Take it out of the box as you can see they're well ready to be potted up. So I go one. I don't worry about getting it all the way down because I'm going to do something in a moment. I'm after Pegasus, that's an Alice. That's an Alice. That's an Alice. Okay. So Pegasus. Make sure if there's any dead leaves you take them off. Any crappy leaves like that, you take them off. Then I do the next one opposite the first one. And the third one. We'll go here. And the fourth one. We'll come here. Now, so I don't know much about these varieties apart from the Cambridge. And I'll say that's an old tried and tested one. Right, so I've got them in, so what I do now, this is why I'm not worried about getting them all the way down. I go around and I mulch the top. I get the rapeseed straw, the chopped rapeseed straw, and go around, tuck them in. I just put a light layer on to start with, and then as we get towards the front of the side, Start to go and pass through the tarpaulin, flapping all over the place. As we get closer to the fruiting time, I will then put another layer on to help uh, hopefully stop the slugs. It has worked in the past, so I'm hoping it will do the same this year. I'm lucky with slugs, I've got quite a few of the leopard slugs. Um, they're carnivore, they uh, feed on other slugs. So, uh, always doing quite well I think and there you go well I'm gonna get on get the Cambridge and the uh, Alice done and I'll come back to you in a moment so. Uh, so that's the strawberries done there's four in each of these big ones that's the Pegasus this is the Alice these are unknown varieties uh, they weren't marked they were just marked as fragia which is basically strawberry and this is the Cambridge favourites so I've got what four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four twenty four twenty seven thirty thirty three 36. So I think I may have now enough strawberries. Well, thanks for watching. Um, that's the large hanging baskets now sorted out. Um, I think they're about uh, 18 inches or so um, across the hanging baskets and uh, well, have I got enough? I've got one more large hanging basket. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. One more large hanging basket. I've got one more space on the hanging basket bars. Should I get another four strawberry plants? 
Yeah, go on. I feel like I've got another four strawberry plants and making a hanging basket. Um, you can't have enough strawberries, can you? I mean, let's face it. The Alice, which are the Earlies, um, the Cambridge favourite and the Pegasus, which are the mid-season, the uh, other ones, the Fugal, and my older ones, um, well... My older ones seem to seem to fruit at different, you know, throughout the season. So, uh, God knows what variety they are. The uh, the ones I put in last week, the, or a couple of weeks back, the frugal. Um, I don't know what variety they are, and I don't know when they uh, will fruit. But if I can extend that season, I'm happy. Well, having said that. I'm going to say thank you very much. Thank you to all my subscribers, my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Um, and to everybody else who's watching, thank you for watching. Don't forget, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, please comment. Thank you for watching. Keep safe, keep well. Thank you.